Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the O string stream class in C++. You can see I have this documentation here and I'm going to be focusing on this part here. So first thing that you need to understand is that an O string stream object can operate on streams. It's going to contain a string buffer and this string buffer is going to contain a sequence of characters, which we can then display on the screen by accessing them through the str method. And we can insert the characters into the stream with any operation that is allowed on output streams. So I'm going to come here to my online C++ compiler and start making examples. Uh, before I begin, this is a common C out statement. You can see I have um, a string here and I'm displaying it on the screen using C out. So I'm going to be typing my code in this white section of my um, IDE and then the results are going to show in this black section. So for instance, when I say C out, please subscribe, which I hope you do, the results is going to be printed here in the console. All right, so when I want to start using an all string stream object, I need to include the SS stream header. Once I have this, and I also have uh, using namespace STD, then I can simply create an all string stream object. In this case, I'm going to call it OS. So now I can insert characters into the stream testing if OS works, just like a normal C out statements. But this time around, if I run my code, we still have please subscribe alone. So if you want to access what you put into your OS stream here, you can simply have another C out statement. You could do it in the same C out statement if you want, but I want to do it separately. And then you could say OS.str. So when you run or you add the um, str method, this is going to let you access the sequence of characters in your string buffer. And now you can see testing if OS works. You can also uh, have a variable. So for instance, I could say string uh, my var equals, this is a variable. And then I could always append or add it like this, my var, just like that. I'm going to add a new line character at the beginning. And now let's run this code. And you can see we have the first line testing if OS works. And the second line is this is a variable. So both of them can be displayed now. You can also use the uh, dot write method on output streams. So you could say OS and then you add the dot write method. So write method here. And I could have an escape character here and say ABC and four. All right. If you don't know how to use the uh, write method, um, I'm probably going to have another video in the future where I explain more about methods you can use on stream objects. So here, anyway, I've run my code and you can see now we have ABC right here. So this is also from uh, this line of code when I inserted these characters. But keep in mind again, if I comment out my C out and the SCR method here, everything that I've put into my OS objects is no longer visible on the screen. So whenever you want to access them, keep in mind, you can have this line here, C out, then your O string stream objects, and then you have the str method here. Now, because it works um, similarly to C out, right? It's an output stream. You can also format your outputs using um, the IO manip header. So I can have include IO manip, and now I can have set width. Now that I have this IO manip header at the top of my file, I can say OS set width, let's say uh, 20. And then I'm going to have formatted, right? And now let's see what I get. I run my code now and you can see we have formatted here, but it's being pushed to the right because the width of that field here is set to 20. And this works because I have my IO manip header here, but it's also allowed because it's an output stream here. So I can have any kind of format that I want. In fact, I can correct that using left. And now it's padded to the left. If I put right, then we have a result like at the beginning. So it doesn't only work with um, strings. Right? You can have OS and you can have a number like um, maybe 567 points, something like this. Okay, So this is my number here, 567. 
and it has rounded up my number for me, 949. So I can have something like this now fixed and display it to get my full uh, decimal number. If I want actually the full decimal number, then I can simply do something like set precision and then set it to, I don't know, maybe 10, right? And now I have my full number here. So anyway, now we're starting to look like I'm giving you a tutorial on the IO manip um, header or how it works. But really what I'm trying to say is that when you use the all string stream class to create some objects, an output stream objects and insert characters into it, you can format them or manipulate them anyhow you want, much like you would do when you use um, C out. So examples that you've seen here in this video are using variables with an output stream objects directly writing a string, right, in your um, output statements, formatting your strings using the iomanip library, and also using the dot .write method. And finally, how to display them using os.str. Of course, you don't have to call your object os, but whatever name you give it, just call the str method on that object with a cl statement like I've done. So that's it. I'm going to stop this video now. These are the basics for all string stream. You guys can always go to c++.com and see what is available. But for now, that's it for me. If you like this tutorial, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.